Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and Unitone Overlord. So, let's see what happens in this episode. To me. Tis ours now. Sure thing. On it. I'm here. I'm up. Yes, sir. Service of the royal family. I'll not fail you. Very well. shall hold nothing back. I don't know.
march. Sure thing. You got it. Awaiting your command. By your word. Onward. I'm up. Yes, sir. Gaze upon the face of your demise. March. To me. Sure thing. On it. Ready. Yes, sir. The path is set. What would you ask? Very well. Liberation. to me. Sure thing. You got it. Gaze upon the face of your demise. in my grave yet. The time is at hand. The path is set.
Ready. Yes, sir. This one's mine. This struggle will only prolong the pain. Accept the mercy of a swift demise. Ow! I'll guard you! Good. I'm ready to hit something. To me. Your villainy ends here. Why are you doing this? You, who once stood as my mother's royal guard. Enough of your questions, Whelp. Interfere, and I shall see you suffer for it. Try again. March. The path is set. This one's mine. To me. Come then. Foolishness is this. One such as I, brought low by the cornea vermin that gnawed our ankles. You've fallen far indeed, Hodric. How many times did you stare death in the face at Her Majesty's side? Now, look what you've become. I may stand as your swordmaster no longer. But I can yet offer you a merciful end to your descent. Wait. Your Highness. Tell me, Hodric. Do you remember the times you and I played together? When I was still just a boy? 
Yours was a bond of loyalty few knights could hope to equal. Why cast that aside and bend the knee to Galerius? I refuse to cut down a friend without first knowing how we've reached this grim conclusion. A simple reason is all I ask. Please. Elaine! The ring! What sorcery is this? Oh, my head! What am I doing here? A spell to shackle the hearts of men. Tis the only way I can think to describe it, my prince. That ill-fated day, all the lords closest to your mother turned upon her without so much as a moment's notice. Unfortunately, my memories end there as well. A frightful power, if what you say is true. This spell of control, it could be called. Such magic would go far in explaining how Galerius so swiftly brought Fevrith to its knees. I shudder to think what unspeakable evil I wrought upon our world these last ten years. Though there is no greater misdeed than turning my spear upon you, Prince Elaine. That's enough. You mustn't blame yourself any further. But I do wonder, how is this ring capable of unmaking the spell? In truth, I had believed it to be mere regalia, a symbol of your birthright and nothing more. To think the power of cleansing truly exists. Your Highness, that is the Ring of the Unicorn, ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your ancestors wielding it to purify evil, but I had believed such tales to be mere fiction. The Orthodoxy has a similar story about the Holy Unicorn. How it was a sacred beast able to purge darkness from our lands. It's entirely possible that the ring that bears its image is somehow capable of that same power. Hmm. Should Galerius' rule be built upon a foul sorcery that fetters our people? Then this ring is the ray of light that will pierce its wicked heart. Your words ring true, my prince. Indeed. Were we able to free those bound by his cruel magics? It might just bring the Iron Wall of Zenoira crashing down. All told, I've often found myself plagued with doubt. Is it justice that guides our march, or paltry vendetta? Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare, and all that remains now is to walk it. Walk it I will, Mother. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. Mists that will soon be dispelled. It may take days, months, or even years, but I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled and slay Galerius like the beast he is. And how does Hodric fare? Well, all things considered, any fog that lingered in his mind seems to have cleared, and he stands ready to fight once more. By the way, your highness, allow me to brief you on our plans for when we arrive. Among the Liberation members I've mustered in my past excursions is a young yet skilled knight by the name of Clive. I'll ride to bring him to you the moment we've reached solid ground. You have my thanks. A word, Elaine? Is something wrong? Well... No, it's nothing. Are you sure? Anxiety will be the death of you if you keep it bottled up like that. It really isn't important, I assure you. It's just... Our lives have changed so drastically from the peace we had only yesterday. It barely seems real. I can't say I feel any different. But 
I've always known this day would come. It's why I've spent all these years training under Joseph's careful instruction. A shame you never had the chance to meet my mother. She was always one to blaze a path forward, royal blade in arm. But as her heir, I intend to lead in much the same way. Is that why you and Lex spend all your days banging swords down at the shore? You've seen that, have you? You know, Hodrick was likely but one of many. And assuming the others who surrendered to Zenoira are being controlled as he was, we may just stand a chance in this. Yet our liberation is still in its nascent days. Promising, yes, but gravely fragile as well. Which is precisely why I'll need your help, Scarlet. To reclaim peace for all who have suffered. Elaine, I... Of course. I'll do everything I can. As is my role as a priestess of the Palavian Church. Hey, don't forget about me! <sighs> Lex... <laughs> what? I'm sorry, my prince. Decorum doesn't come naturally to this fool. It's all right. When you've known each other as long as we have, there's no reason to let formality bind us. But there are protocols to observe. Rules we must follow as vassals in service of the crown. Still, I'm of the same mind. What mind he has, that is. I'll give my all in the royal name, your majesty. Thank you all. I couldn't ask for a finer group of friends. <laughs>